everyone, it's Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York. First, I will do the thankful challenge, and I'm thankful for, oh, I had a thankfulness. I forgot what my thankful was. I was going to say weather, but we have very good weather, but there was something else that I was thankful for. Oh, this is terrible. I guess I'm not that thankful for it. But anyways, it was... Um, the weather is, is lovely. Yes, I'll just stick with the weather. Oh, no, I know now. <laughs> I remember. I'm really thankful for this, and I don't know why it slipped my mind for a moment. But I'm thankful for all the people that watched yesterday's video of the Shed Wars ending. I hope you stayed to the very end because Mark had a special message for those of you that want to do it next year. And if you didn't watch it, I suggest you go back and watch it, or you look up Mark's video. That's the wood, the Arkansas woodcutter. Look his video up. I will put. I uh, maybe I will put something in there. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I haven't done it yet, so we'll see. But anyways, if you didn't listen to the final message at the end of the video, I suggest you do, because there's a really good message there for next year's shed wars. And Mark, the Arkansas woodcutter, left the message. So I'll, that's one thing I wanted you to, to, I was thankful for. Thankful for all those that viewed my video. And yesterday I didn't tag anyone. Um, I'm going to tag, I think I'll tag Rusty from the Ozark Duke. And let him put in his daily th um, grateful he can do the grateful challenge because I know Rusty is very, he's a, he's a guy that's really grateful for a lot of things. And he, tell, he says it a lot of times in his videos, even though it isn't a challenge when he's saying it, he's just saying it. So Rusty, I'm tagging you to do the grateful challenge, or the thankful challenge, I mean. And the people that are having that started this thankful challenge is simple simple life reclaimed and kimber keto life they both have started a thankful challenge and because i was tagged by mark i'm mentioning simple life reclaimed and i had agreed to do kimberly's keto life um thankful challenge so i'm mentioning both i will put their links in the more sections so you can find them and hopefully you will join us in this thankful challenge. I'm going to put a little video in and it's of course my prime star <laughs> Mr. Jim and it will also have the chickens there so those of you that want to see the chickens stick around and you'll see that too. This is how Jim likes to work actually it's play for him he likes to blow the leaves and then he will grind them up and put them on the compost pile we're gonna go check the chickens i tried the other day to show you the ears can you see the ears on this is a little lady can you believe that this is little lady see the white on her side of her head those are the ears on a chicken and that tells me she's going to have white eggs when she starts laying eggs. This little hen that has the funny feathers, apparently she is a hen because pretty boy fancies her every now and then. He does his little chicken dance around her. I walk out and they all walk away. Voon commented that the buffs were the bigger bird. She had said she didn't know what kind it was, but this is a buff Orpington. And they are very big birds. They're really nice, docile birds, too. They're a good egg layer. She lays brown like eggs. This one little hen looks, her feathers look bad. I think she's molting. This is Blondie. I try following them, but every time I do, they all seem to scatter. So I'm going to just squat down and see what they are up to. And let's see who we can see. That's a nice little buff there.
Silver's looking really good. And Brownie is too. They have very pretty tails. And there's another buff. She's pretty big compared to, to the other birds. Remember I said Jim likes to relax? Well, this is relaxing. This is how he plays. He's just mowed the lawn and now he's using the rake behind the four-wheeler and he's picking up the leaves. There's a lot of leaves. When he mows the lawn, he blows them all into one area and then he goes back and he picks them up. He will be dumping these in a few seconds. You'll take note how many leaves are in that bucket. I'm telling him here that the thing is really full. They're starting to come out of the top. So he pulls over and then I wonder what is he going to do? And then I see he dumps the leaves right there. And I asked him, why are you dumping the leaves there? And he didn't hear me. And so I said, why are you dumping the leaves? He still didn't hear me. So then I yelled a little louder, why are you dumping the leaves? And he pulled off his ear protectors. No wonder he didn't hear me. And he said that he was going to grind them and probably put them on the compost pile. So then he... um moved ahead a little bit and I was shocked to see more leaves dumping out of it. It's like, wow. Then I said to him, I said, wow, that thing holds a lot of leaves. And he says, it sure does. And then I told him after he was done with that, I says, make sure you put your ear protectors back in. So he tells me with a thumbs up, okay, I will. And he starts putting his ear protectors in. And then off he went again. A little bit before I came up here today, I had just put Mr. Brown in his, in his little cage for the night time. And I had to clean up a really bad mess. He was really, he must have had diarrhea or something because he got it all over the washer, all over the towel that he sits on. He got it. He just got it all over, even on the dryer. So I did a lot of the washing of things and then I vacuumed. You know, he's afraid of everything, but when I turn on the little vacuum cleaner, he's not afraid of that. And my dog used to try to bite at my other dog. This dog just moves away. He doesn't even want to be near it. But Mr. Brown doesn't seem to bother him with the vacuum cleaner, but he's afraid of butter butterflies, which was really funny because uh, Cabbage butterfly flew past him and he ran like he was being chased by, I don't know, a sky monster or something, excuse me. Um, but, um, well, that's my video for today and thank you all again. You had very kind comments too. And I will talk to you again tomorrow. So you take care. Bye-bye.